Hey kids, it's me, Lennon! Welcome to Carl's Marx! Come on! It's so awesome that you guys could come along, but before we get started, can you notice something? I know! We're missing Carl! Do you know where he is? No, he's not over there. That's just the upside down cross because there is no religion and no God. Why else? Sillies. He, he went that way. You think so? Let's go check it out. Look! A Carl's Mark! Carl must have been nearby. Do you know where Carl is? No, I don't think he went over there. We were just over there. I think it has something to do with this mark on the picture frame. You think he went inside the painting? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Carl's Mark's gonna leap up! Whoa! We're in the Soviet Union! How do we know that this is real? Well, you can feel everything around you. The air, the grass, the clouds. You can feel everything. That this is real and true. And it's because of science. Are you excited to be here? I know I am. What's that over there? Oh, that's the Kremlin, of course. A crown jewel of the Soviet Union. Wait, can you hear that over there? It sounds like people. What, let's go check it out. Now that we're walking this way, we might as well discuss a few things about the Soviet Union. Well, they believe in Marxism. Marxism is a goal to have a classless society, because a classless society is the best kind of society. How did a place like this all come to be? Well, it all started with a big bang. Oh, you mean more specifically? Well, there is a great leader known as Stalin, because he is more equal than the other equal, but everyone is equal. So remember that. Everyone is equal, but some people are a little bit more equal, and that's what he was. He was just a great ruler trying to make a difference in this world. Oh, here we are! Thank you, Comrade Stalin, for giving us this classless society where everyone is equal. You're welcome, peasant. I, can I will make you less equal than equal. Whoa! Would you look at that? These people are following moral relativity. That's awesome! In Marxism, that's what they do. They follow moral relativity based on the individual's thoughts. Everyone is equal, and they can have their equal, opinionated thoughts that are equal, of course. But I don't think these people are going to help me with finding Carl. I need to find another Carl's Mark. Do you see a Carl's Mark? I walked past one earlier. Are you sure? Okay, might as well give it a look, right? Where? Behind me? I just see bushes. Are you sure there's one behind me? You are? Oh, there it is! I guess we're getting close to Carl, but where do you think he is? Do you think he went back to where we started? Might as well, right? Whoa! Would you look at that? It's Stalin himself! The most amazing human being you've ever seen! A complex human machine! Oh my gosh, I love Stalin! He's so equal, he's like above equal, he's equal equal! Ah. Oh. I love this! Okay, so Stalin is this leader of this communist and Soviet Union, awesome Marxism, a classless society, everyone here is equal, and he's the guy in charge of it all. That's amazing! So, you know, maybe he can help us find Karl's Mark. Come on, let's continue going this way. Hello, Comrade Stalin. How are you today? <clears throat> Whoa, we better stop right here. We don't want to get too close while Stalin is performing some equalness on some people. <sighs> death? Why are you asking about death? Ah, uh, don't worry about it, just annihilations and stuff. Here in this world of Marxism and a classless society, which is the best society, we, um, have no meaning outside of death and the, what you could say, so let's just forget that real quick. And let's, I, I think I saw a Karl's Mark this way. Oh look, it's my friends, Hammer and Sickle. How you guys doing? Lennon, we need your help. You need our help? With what? To find out the best kind of government. To find out which type of government is the best government? How can we do that? Arrange these types of governments for us. Or arrange them from least to greatest? Yeah, we can do that, right guys? Okay, we have three types of governments here. We have communism, socialism, and capitalism. So now we have to arrange these from least greatest to greatest. So, if we're gonna start with least greatest over here, where do you think we should take? Which one should we take? Yeah, that's what I thought. Capitalism. 
move that all down. Now, which is the second, like it's kind of, it's the second best, but also second to last. Yeah, I was thinking socialism too, so let's move that over. And I guess this order is pretty complete now, because obviously communism is the best kind of society, right guys? Awesome! I'm glad that we could help Hammer and Sickle, but right now I gotta find Carl. He's kind of lost in the Soviet Union. Do you know where he might be? He went that way, Lennon. That way? Hear that, kids? We gotta continue going this way. Come on! Wait, do you guys hear that? It sounds like music. This is a song I wanted you guys to listen to. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, so on the bottom of the screen, you're gonna see lyrics. I want you guys to sing along. It's gonna be such a fun time. By the end of the song, we might even find Carl and find some Karl Marx along the way. It's gonna be so much fun. Okay, wait, they're starting, they're starting. about what you guys need to know about Marxism. Ah, oh, the class of society, the government is awesome, everyone's equal, ah, oh, I love that song. That song is one of my top 10 favorite songs, right after the Trump Annihilation song. I love those ones. All right, well, I'm not sure if you guys saw them, but there was a few Karl Marx along the way in that song. We gotta go find them, because I think Karl is super close. Come on. While I'm walking, we might as well discuss the questions you have on your paper in front of you. Alright, so you should be able to answer most of them, but don't be afraid if there's some that you can't answer yet. They will be later in the episode, so don't worry. But I think they're pretty self-explanatory, so ah, you're fine. And I want you guys to pay attention to this discussion thing at the bottom. Table talk fun. I want you guys to talk to your parents about that question down there. It's going to be a lot of fun, and you're going to learn a lot of things from your parents. Because, I'll ah, stop right here. Marxism is the best kind of society. A class of society is the best kind of society. And I want you guys to remember, before all of this happened, there was a working class. And then what that working class did, it fought up against the ruling class. And due to this conflict, guess what was formed? A classless society. So I really hope you guys enjoy that paper and you can just learn a lot about Karl Marx and all that fun stuff. But we got Karl to find, so come on, let's go. <gasps> Wait, do you guys see that over there? No, it's not the meaning of life. That means nothing. But that over there, it's Carl. Carl, come here, boy. Oh my gosh, Carl. That's fantastic. You're here. We found you. We might as well get back home. So come on, let's go. Kids, wasn't I so worried about Carl? I know, right? But we finally found him. Oh, hey, Hammer and Sickle. I really hope we helped you guys out today. Have a fantastic day. Oh, I love this place, a classless society. That's the best kind of society, right? Oh, all right. Here we are, back at our picture frame to take us back home. Oh my gosh, the Soviet Union was so much fun. I hope you guys had just as much fun as I did. But before we wrap this all up, we better get back home. So uh, as always, Karl Marx can leave back. Whoa, that was so much fun. 
I love visiting the Soviet Union. Carl, thank you for taking us there. Oh, I always have fun there. It reminds me that I should visit more often. Oh. Well, did you guys have fun there? That's awesome, so did I. Oh, that's, we just got to see Marxism in action. A classless society is the best kind of society. We saw the great equal leader Stalin performing his equalness upon his subjects that are also equal. It's amazing. Oh, well, I'm glad you guys had fun. And I know I had fun, so until next time, we'll see you in the next episode of Carl's Marx. Bye!